The other day, my partner and I were driving through Atlanta and we stumbled upon this awesome piece on the side of the road. So we're gonna take it home and see if I can give it a makeover. So this is the piece, discarded as trash but still with so much potential. I had someone reach out to me literally days after I picked up this piece asking for a custom bar cabinet and I told her about how I wanted to transform this piece into one and she was all for it. So before I even had a chance to make her over, she already had an awesome place to go home to after the makeover was done. On the main part of the body, the veneer was pretty damaged and bubbling up in a lot of different places with cracks all over the place. This is honestly my first time dealing with veneer that is this badly damaged and honestly I don't think I really handled it properly. But we'll get more into that later on. Needless to say, this piece needed a lot of work. First thing I always do is clean a piece, but in order to do that, I have to remove hardware, and in order to do that, I have to be able to take the drawers out, which in this case, I definitely was not able to. So I had to remove that nail first, which was an easy job, but then opening up these drawers led to a whole nother can of worms. On the inside of the bottom drawer was a block of wood that wasn't supposed to be there. So I got to inspecting and realized that it was a DIY that someone did to try to repair the broken drawer slide. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a professional at doing things like this, fixing things like this, so this looked like a pretty decent job for someone who had absolutely no idea what they were doing. But I'm hoping that my experience over these past few years flipping furniture helps me come up with something a little more professional and durable.
Once all the bits and pieces were removed, it was time to get to paint stripping. And for this process, I love to use Smart Strip. It is my favorite paint stripper on the market, and I swear I am not getting paid to say this. It is eco-friendly, easy to use, and super easy to clean up with just water and a rag. I usually opt in to use paint stripper when I know I'm working with a high quality veneer. That way I don't even have to worry or think about burning through the veneer with my sander. When using any kind of paint stripper, it's really helpful to make sure that you have nice, thick, even coats all over your veneer. That way you know that the old finish is getting evenly lifted throughout the piece. After going in to clean up the rest of the paint stripper, I realized that the state of the veneer was beyond my capability of repairing, so I opted to go in and remove the damaged veneer with a putty knife. Let me just say that if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have to remove damaged veneer, use a heat gun. It makes things so much easier and so much more enjoyable. I promise you will not regret it.
With the heavy rains, I wasn't able to finish this entire piece in time for this video, but the next day after everything cleared up, I started with a 120 grit just to remove that old finish, and then moved up to a 180 grit and then finished off everything and made sure it was all smooth with a 200 grit. Once the majority of the piece was sanded, I went in with my detail sander just to get along these edges so that I didn't burn through any of the veneer. This tool also worked super well to get all these curved edges on the feet. Once I completely sanded the piece, it was time to get all of the dust off and get some wood conditioner on the raw pieces of wood. That way, any stain that I put on the piece wouldn't be blotchy. And this was my first time using wood conditioner, so I made sure to read all of the instructions thoroughly before using it. All right guys, so this is where we are leaving off for this week. Everything is ready for staining and the top coat. And I am also going to be painting the inside of this piece using this mood board that I created. My client wanted something kind of whimsical yet elegant. She wanted to include animals in there as well. So we are going to be painting a lion in there for her. So if you guys wanna stay tuned for next week's video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay tuned. And until next time, guys, stay flippin'.